<clears throat> there we are testing it on 180. All right, here we go with the uh, Buckmaster Twet test. Sorry about it. When you unbox the rig expert, the geniuses have all this adhesive in a sticker. So I spent the latter part of an hour trying to get it off with isopropyl alcohol and failed, but uh, I gave up. All right, so here we go. We're gonna test, uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna test 40 meters. So we're gonna go to SWR chart, and then we're gonna hit frequency range, right? And then we're gonna do the F button, and we're gonna go get everybody on 40. So there's 40 meters. And we're gonna test it. Here we go. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get on the Buckmaster off center fed. Ooh boy, look at those numbers. 1.35 at 7084. Beautiful. Okay, I'm doing this multiple times because it's in a tree. 135 at 782, because it the thing moves in the tree. 135 at 776, 135 at 7096, 124, wow, lower, the lower it's getting, okay, so obviously on the lower end of 40, very, very low end of 40, the antenna is doing very well under 1.5 and it only goes up, so definitely uh, probably the sweet spot for the Buckmaster 7-band dipole antenna. Naturally clocking in some good SWRs on 40 meters. That's without a tuner. So um, this is good. If you, if you get up higher and you have to use the tuner a little bit, it would be just negligible. All right. The Buckmaster off-center fed 7-band performing great on 40. Thank you very much.